It's time for another broadcast of Brown County Sports on BC Hornet Sports. BC Hornet Sports brings to you Brown County Little League Baseball and Softball. High school and junior high softball, baseball, volleyball, football, and basketball. These broadcasts would not be possible without the support of our local sponsors. Let the sponsors know how much you appreciate them bringing the broadcast to you. Proceeds from the advertising and donations help to pay the expenses and help Hope Through Faith Ministries to help local sports programs and activities bring speakers to speak to our Brown County students as well as other programs such as Critical Life Seminars and much more. We hope you enjoy the broadcast on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. Sterling Foods. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to BC Hornet Sports and our broadcast today of the Brown County Hornets playing the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes today in baseball action. No girls action today, uh, but the baseball action today will be boys baseball, Griggsville Perry and Brown County on the docket for the day. And so with that, Steve Surratt with you online. Uh, Lisa's got the day off since the girls are not playing And we hope that you'll enjoy the broadcast today as we bring that to you. You're listening to the Scranton Heating and Cooling pregame show brought to you by the Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling. Give them a call, 217-773-2626 or on the web at comfortman.com. With that, uh, we're going to take a station break. We want to thank our sponsors for all they do for us. And and, uh, they're the reason we're on the air is uh, that they pay the bill, pay for the equipment, And so we thank them for that. With that, we'll take a station break. Be back. Offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market. Offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page. Or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling. Proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. Larry Denning County has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Denning County, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400. I have been interested in truck driving my whole life. I've been fascinated with the big rigs since I was a kid. But after college, I got into business on the marketing side of things, kind of shelved the dream. 30 years later, I quit my job, signed up for truck driving school. It was exciting from the get-go. Dot recruited out of my truck driving school. The job was everything I was hoping it would be, and then some. My weeks absolutely fly by. When my life needed fulfillment, I took the wheel. Culbertson Memorial Hospital is more than just an emergency center for acute illnesses and trauma. From imaging and lab services to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, our team of providers is equipped to treat a wide variety of conditions in a convenient, local setting, so getting the outpatient care you need doesn't require a long trip out of town. Get quality care from the team that knows you best at Culbertson Memorial Hospital. 
Learn more at hospital.com. Los Rancheros Restaurant in Mount Sterling is your destination for authentic Mexican food. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Come and enjoy their daily specials on food and drink. Having a party? Check out Los Rancheros for catering your next event or gathering. Los Rancheros Authentic Mexican Restaurant, 408 Quincy Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-7800. At Land Guys, we specialize in recreational property because we speak the language. We connect sellers to the next generation of buyers who share a passion for land. At Land Guys, we provide industry leading marketing while ensuring a smooth and hassle free experience. We will make you the most money for your property. If you're in the market to sell, contact one of Illinois' top land brokers, Land Guys Toby Stay at 217-257-6096. As a student at St. Mary's School, your child will receive strong educational foundation embedded with Christian values. All students, kindergarten through eighth grade, have individual iPads, along with personalized attention with a small class size. St. Mary's also offers Fulham half-day pre-K, affordable tuition, a family atmosphere, and exceptional teachers. Register your child today by calling Melissa at St. Mary's School at 217-773-2825. Has your home been devastated by fire, smoke, or water damage? At ServiceMaster Restore, our technicians are more than just talented professionals. They're caring people, ready to get your home back to normal while keeping you informed every step of the way. Backed by over 65 years of experience, we've helped countless homeowners just like you clean up and rebuild from a wide variety of disasters. When disaster strikes, you can count on the expert restoration team at ServiceMaster Restore. Napa know-how. Hello, Earl Flack, your locally owned McKay Nap Auto Parts store. Summer bodies, summer hot. Oh, what the heck? I'm just talking about summer savings. We've got turtle wax on sale. $6.49 for polishing compound. Meguiar's hot rims and all-wheel tire cleaner. Hot. $6.99 for a bottle. Get the Meguiar's line in our store. Wax on, wax off. That's right. Detail cloths on sale. Got scrubs, got towels, got all the good stuff to keep that car clean. Get the good stuff with Napa Know-how and thank you for your business. Back with you on BC Wanted Sports and the Screen Heating and Cooling pregame show brought to you by the Comfort Man at Screen Heating and Cooling. Guess what? They do more than heating and cooling. They do solar with these sunny days happening now. You might want to give them a call and see what the benefits of having solar on your home would do for you or a solar field. Give the people a call there at 217-773-2626 or on the web at comfortman.com. Time for the keys of the game brought to you by Blessing Health Systems. If it's a possible strain, sprain, or fracture, head to the Blessing Orthopedic Walk-In Clinic 8 to 5 Monday through Friday at the Blessing Health Center, 4800 Main in Quincy. No appointment needed. Keys to the game. We start on the pitcher's mound. For the pitcher, it's not allowing walks. Walks usually equal runs. And so making sure that you don't get walks. Next thing for you will be uh, from the field, not making errors. Errors will cost you ball games. Also, usually lead to runs or runners getting into scoring position that end up scoring. And so that's also out there. Then from the plate, you want to be swinging the bat. You want to be making contact, make things happen. We saw yesterday a couple of different times. You never know what's going to happen. What it was routine may not be routine. And so with that, uh, those are keys to the game brought to you by Blessing Health Systems. They're at 521 East Main Street right across from us here. Same day appointments are available if you call 217-773-7105. That's 521 East Main. That's Blessing Health System, the family clinic right across the street from us. We'll be back after these messages. The Brown County State Bank is proud to support all the Brown County Hornets athletic programs. In fact, we're the only bank offering the Hornet debit card. Every time the card is used at a point of sale, a portion of the proceeds are contributed to the Brown County School. 
It's our part of our commitment to making them the best they can be. Contact the Brown County State Bank today to get your Hornet debit card at 773-3327. Brown County State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Local, reliable broadband. You must be talking about CASCOM. I'm Casey French, and we provide amazing support for home and businesses. Internet, television, and phone. We have technicians in your area at all times, and you can actually talk to a local customer service representative. We know our area, and we know our customers. Get to know us. Call CASCOM today at 1-800-252-1799. CASCOM at 1-800-252-1799. Brown County Accounting and Tax recently opened in Mount Sterling. The team brings over 30 years of experience and is ready to advise on taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. We are ready to meet with you with no obligation to discuss your tax saving strategy and have already helped many in the area. Contact us today at 217-770-8082. We are excited to be part of the community and are looking forward to helping you. LM Concrete Construction takes pride in providing quality concrete work to Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas, specializing in flat work, sidewalks, residential, new buildings, or add-ons, commercial and decorative concrete. Call Lorenzo Martinez for all your concrete needs at 779-279-4413. That's 779-279-4413. ADI, located in Golden, is one of North America's largest pattern tiling installers. We've helped farmers create water management systems for over 40 years with pattern tiling across farm fields, generating proven data showing a boost in yield and greater profitability. Changing weather patterns do not have to cost you yield dollars anymore. Start with a free estimate now by calling your local ADI representative, David Lohman, at 309-280-2411 or by visiting our website at agdrainage.com. Hi, this is Brad Cassing at Ray Insurance Agency here in Mount Sterling. We want to invite you to give us a call at 217-773-3851 for all your insurance needs. Uh, you may know that we are experts in farm insurance and also crop insurance, but what you might not know is that we do homes, autos, commercial business, as well as a wide array of personal insurance coverages. Please give us a call at 217-773-3851. We're located at 128 West Main Street. Interested in solar for your home? Confused by the information available on the savings and tax credits available? Or if any of the options will work for you? Call Scranton Heating and Cooling at 217-773-2626 and let the comfort man take away the confusion and plan the best system for your home or business. They will visit your home or business, evaluate your unique situation, then Scranton's will sit down with you and discuss each option, giving personal service and planning. Scranton Heating and Cooling. Visit them on the web at comfortman.com. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, so you know what that is. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. Yingling and Nissan Insurance. Stop in and talk to one of our agents today about your insurance needs. We really appreciate the support of the community in our business for the last 40 some years. Come and see us if you have questions on, on your policy with us or if you want to quote and you're with someone else now, we'd be happy to work with you. If Yingling and Nissan Agency a call at 217-773-3397. Go on it! Back with you on the Screen Heating and Cooling pregame show brought to you by the Comfort Man at Screen Heating and Cooling. Now it's time for our starting lineups brought to you by Dot Transportation. You wanting to earn a CDL license and drive for a growing company? Check out 
Dot Transportation's Driving School. While you're in school, receive a weekly salary, free tuition, job placement, hands-on training. Learn more and apply today at driveforDTI.com. That's driveforDTI.com. And so with that, let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes as they are the visitors today. Their lineup will look like this. It'll be Brody Rush playing third base, bat leading off. Lane Lichtman, he'll be uh, pitching today, and he'll be in that second spot. Wyatt Lichtman is in the third spot, and he'll bat third. Colby, or, and he'll play uh, catcher. Colby Tate will be the first baseman. He'll bat fourth. Michael Myers is the shortstop, and he'll bat fifth. Your sixth place hitter will be Brian Embry. He'll be in left field. Braden Lister will be the center fielder. He'll bat in the seventh spot. The eighth spot will be Rory Phillips, and he'll be in right field. Mason Bolton will be the DH. And in the tenth, or uh, in batting in the ninth spot, and Aaron Kerfman will play to the field at second base. For Brown County, it looks like this. Today on the mound will be Connor Flynn behind the plate, Jack Buss. First base, Colin Dieterle. Second base, uh, Matt Boylan. Third base, Vlad Rabarchek. Shortstop today will be Maverick Henry. In left field will be Wyatt Cassing. Center field will be Jack Sefton. And right field will be Meyer Maxwell for today's contest, and that's your starting lineups brought to you by Dot Transportation. If you're looking for a driving job of any kind, full-time, part-time, uh, touch, no-touch freight, check. go to driveforDTI.com and check out the jobs that are available with Dot Transportation. With that, we'll take another station break. We're about ready to go here as Brown County has uh, took the field. We're waiting on officials. We'll be back after these messages. For over 100 years, the people and businesses in Brown County have counted on Farmer State Bank and Trust Company of Mount Sterling to assist them with their banking needs. As the only locally owned and operated bank in Brown County, Farmer State Bank looks forward to continuing this partnership for the next 100 years. Farmer State Bank is locally dedicated to all your banking needs. Farmer State Bank and Trust Company of Mount Sterling, locally owned, locally operated, locally dedicated. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When I started at DOT, I realized I could make a career out of this. It's just amazing the people you get to interact with when you get here. It's a family atmosphere for me. One of my main jobs is talking to people, trying to understand what's going on, uh, where they're at in life, what, what they're needing from me to get their job done. I've met so many people, and uh, it's been a real blessing to be a part of all that. Big company in a small town, that's a fact. When my life needed growth, I chose DOT, and I never left. Just like a coach preparing their team for the new season, Doug and Darren Henry, your ASE certified technicians at Henry Automotive, want to make sure your vehicle is ready for whatever season is ahead. Henry Automotive provides dealership quality auto repair and service at hometown prices. Henry Automotive is located 1157 690th East Street in Mount Sterling. Just turn north at the KC Hall onto Damon Road, drive 1.8 miles and look for the big blue and yellow sign, or call Henry Automotive at 773-9066. Hey, this is Lance Grady with L. Grady Realty, Brown County's premier residential and commercial real estate brokerage. If you're in the market to buy, sell, or rent, we would love to work with you. You can check us out on the internet at www.lgradyrealty.com, find us on Facebook, or call or text me personally anytime at 217-491-0812. L. Grady Realty, local brokers, local office, local expertise. We are Brown County's leading residential real estate brokerage. Main Street Repair and Terry Ham have the reputation of being the best at front-end alignments in the area. With 20 years of experience, Terry is the person that customers and auto repair professionals refer their friends and customers to. But alignments are not the only thing that they do at the Main Street Repair. They repair steering and suspension issues, install leveling and lift kits, repair and replace brakes and tires, do oil changes, as well as minor engine and miscellaneous repairs. Main Street Repair at 216 West Main Street in Mount Sterling. Call for your appointment today at 217-773-3848. Once again, that's 217-773-3848. 3848. This is Tracy Hendricker with the Hendricker Funeral Home in Mount Sterling. 
For the past 50 years, our family has committed to providing the finest facilities and compassionate services to our community. We pledge to continue to assist the families we serve as though they were our own. We also want to wish the best of luck to all those competing on the playing field or striving for excellence in the classroom. You all make Hornet Nation so very proud. And remember, go Hornets! When it comes to your money, local is better. Farmers National Bank of Griggsville is here in the heart of the community. Working where we live, we make sensible loans to our friends and neighbors so that we can help our community grow. Stop by and see our friendly staff and see what we can do to meet your financial goals. Located in Griggsville, Pittsfield, and Mount Sterling. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Maintaining your lawn can be a never-ending battle, but Bemis Lawn Service with their state-of-the-art equipment and skilled team of lawn experts are ready to take on any job you need completed for your lawn, such as lawn maintenance, fertilization, turf weed control, grub control, driveway weed control, overseeding, and shrub trimming. Call Aaron at 217-653-0198 or Scott at 217-653-0197. Bemis Lawn Service, they've got an eye for all things green. Go Hornets! Cassing Lumber Company in Mount Sterling is celebrating 50 years in business. We are your one-stop shop for all the supplies you need for your next home improvement project. Top quality lumber, building materials, and paint will give your home the freshness it deserves. We also offer a unique gift shop with new items every season for your home decor. Come visit us in Mount Sterling and always think Cassing Lumber. We'll all be glad you did. With the NBC Hornet Sports in the Scranton Heating and Cooling pregame show as Brown County starts warming up. Connor Flynn on the mound. Jack Buss, his battery mate behind the plate. Let's go over those starting lineups again brought to you by Dot Transportation. Go to drivefordti.com to check out the jobs available for you or the opportunity to go to driving school. Uh, it'll be Brody Rush uh, at third base batting first. Lane Lichtman pitching and batting second. Wyatt Lichtman third and catching. Colby Tate. He'll be at uh, first base. He'll bat fourth. Your fifth place hitter will be Mike Myers. He'll bat in that number five spot. Your left fielder, Brian Embry. And he'll bat in the sixth spot. The seventh spot will be Braden Lister. He'll be in center field. Your eighth spot will be Rory Phillips. He'll be in right field. And Mason Bolton will be the DH and bat in that ninth spot. Uh, Gregsville Perry comes into this 0 and 5. Brown County 4 and 6. Trying to work their way to the 500 mark as we get ready to go here. First three, brought to you by Yingling Innocent Agency. 111 West Washington in Mount Sterling will be Rush, Lane Lichtman, Wyatt Lichtman. The pitch by Flynn, first pitch, strike called. Like to see game start out with a strike right out of the bat. Connor Flynn on the mound. Next pitch, strike two. The freshman, two strikes in a row. Right down central that time. Looks, and here's the pitch. Ball outside, makes it one and two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the wind again. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swinging for strikeout four, Flynn for the day. That'll make it the second batter. Lane Lichtman, left-hander, he'll be on the mound for them today. Steps in from the left-hand side. Comes in with a 111 batting average. At least based on game changer. Swing and a tip, miss. Strike one. Here's the wind in the pitch from Flynn. High curve ball. Ball makes it 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike, one out. Next. High for a ball. Makes it two balls, one strike. Strike. 
Strike called. That'll make it 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes. Next pitch. A little sidearm action there. Makes it full count, 3-2. Here goes the 3-2 pitch. Ball hit to the left side, out of play. That'll keep it 3-2. Next pitch, second baseman, Boylan over to Dieterle for three on the out for the second out here in the top of the first. That'll be Wyatt Lichtman stepping in. 222 batting average for Wyatt. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Flynn doing a good job of throwing first pitch strike. He'll get them going after it, and then he'll change that up. High curveball for a ball. Makes it a 1-1 count. Ideally, you want to start the pace out, getting the ball across the plate, throwing strikes, and then kind of work around with that once you figure out what the umpire is going to do. Ball two makes it a 2-1 count. Here's the wind. Ball low makes it 3-1. Three balls, one strike. DeWyant licked him in with two outs. Nobody on base. Here's the pitch. Popped up. Right center field. That's going to be Sefton on top of that. Makes the catch for the third out. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody on base. That takes us to the bottom half of the first. Nothing, nothing. We'll be back. In Brown County, you know how much it means to have neighbors you can count on. Like the one who mowed your lawn and trimmed that week you were sick? Well, here's another good neighbor you can count on. State Farm Agent Carolyn Wright. Carolyn and her team are here to help life go right when you combine your home and auto insurance, which can save you money and time. So combine home and auto and start the savings rolling. Call State Farm Agent Carolyn Wright at 217-773-4170 today. KLC Inc. They are an apparel shop that specializes in screen printing, embroidery, custom and team apparel, promotional products, fundraising items, home decor, and personalization of almost anything. They strive to make the customer number one and get the customer the professional results that they are looking for. KLC Inc. at 509 Pittsfield Road or call them at 217-773-9090. KLC Inc. You think it, we ink it. All About Dance and More LLC is celebrating Season 17 by providing more ways for students to perform, learn choreography, and grow bold relationships together. All classes highlight traditional dance techniques, age-appropriate terms, and unique choreography. Come explore the magic of AADM with recreational classes and competitive team options. Wishing all BC Hornets luck this year. AllAboutDanceandMore.com A collision with your vehicle can be stressful on its own. You don't need more stress dealing with the Auto Body Shop. Mowen Auto Body and owners Chuck and Brandy Mowen can help take the stress out of the process. Chuck brings over 24 years in the Auto Body business and is iCar certified. Mowen Auto Body, 149 Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Call 217-773-2127. Mowen Auto Body, the quality of yesterday with the knowledge of today, the right choice in collision repair. Central Illinois Home Inspection, the first name you should think of when buying a new home. Specializing in general home inspections, mold inspections, termite inspections, sewer scopes, radon testing, and drone photography. And serving the surrounding area since 2009, licensed and insured. Give them a call today at 217-622-6788. That's 217-622-6788. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. The England Innocent top three for this inning will be Dieterle 
Maverick Henry and Matt Boylan. Dieterle comes into this contest with a 381 batting average and eight RBIs in that leadoff spot. He's second on the team as far as RBIs are concerned. Lane Lichtman on the mound behind the plate. Wyatt Lichtman. Here's the wind in the first pitch here in the bottom of the first. Ball outside. Dieterle steps back in. Here's the pitch from Lane. Here's ball low. Umpires today are Doug Elledge on the bases and Fred Steinway behind the plate. Here's the pitch. Ball high. Three balls, no strikes. Here comes the 3-0 pitch from Lane Lichtman to Dieterle. Strike call makes it 3-1. If I remember Mr. Steinway correctly, I don't think you'll get the low strike out of him, but you'll get the corners and a little bit high. Ball. Ball four, Dieterle does his job, gets on base. That'll bring up Maverick Henry with a 353 average. Uh, nine RBIs, he leads the team, and uh, he has one home run. Steps in from the right side. Dieterle will get a good lead, I can tell you, over at first base. Stretch. Here's the pitch. Ground ball back up the middle. Shortstop with that will be Myers. He throws over to first to Tate for the force out, and that'll be a fielder's choice. That'll be 6-3 on the out and moves Dieterle down to second base. That'll bring up Matt Boylan, 207 hitter on the year with six RBIs. Got an RBI opportunity here with Dieterle on base. You just got to get it out of the infield, and he would probably score. Brown County would like to start out the, this game in the lead. And Dieterle going to third, low outside pitch. Wyant Lichtman can't handle it, stolen base. Dieterle, now he's only 90 feet away. Here's the wind, the pitch. High for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Here's the wind, the pitch. Foul off, strike one. That'll make it two balls and one strike. Two balls, one strike, one out. Dieter Lee down at third base for Brown County with an opportunity to get on the board here. Lane Lichtman looks in, wind in the pitch. Ball low. Yesterday, uh, that would have been a strike. Difference in umpires, like I said. Yeah, I don't think Mr. Steinway gives a low one like we got yesterday. I think he gives more of the corners and ball four. And that's two base on balls for Lichtman. That's to, to Dieterle and to Boylan. Boylan down at third base. That'll bring up uh, Vlad Rabarczyk. He was uh, had a good day at third base yesterday. I think there was one play he didn't make. Uh, the runner was too quick for him to throw out, but he kept everything in front of him and then threw people out. Here's the stretch. And the pitch. There goes Boylan down to second. No throw, just a hard throw back to the pitcher. Again, this squad comes in Griggsville Perry 0-5 on the year, so they haven't played many ball games, and that we played twice as many, we're 4-6. and six. Here's the wind. Ball. Two balls, no strikes. Here's the wind, the pitch, ball low, three balls, no strikes. Three balls, no strikes, runners at second and third. Here's the pitch, ball low. And a coach is going to take a walk to the mound. With that, we'll take a station break. We'll be back after these messages. 
The Mount Sterling Savings Center, a customer-owned savings bank offering online banking from your computer or mobile phone, allowing you access to your account on your schedule. The Mount Sterling Savings Center is a proud supporter of Brown County Athletics. Mount Sterling Savings Center, conveniently located at 201 West Main, the intersections of Routes 24 and 99, is a branch of the Beardstown Savings located at 301 South Main. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. When it comes to becoming a better version of you, there's no place to start like the Y. The Mount Sterling Community Center YMCA offers activities for the whole family. From youth sports to summer day camp, we have something for all ages. Take start your new healthy routine with our group exercise classes or work out in our fitness center, complete with a full line of cardio and weight equipment. Our indoor rubberized track is perfect for both running and walking, while our full-size gymnasium offers space for pickup basketball games. We'll be back with the Y after this. Ball hit into right center field by Meyer Maxwell. He is foul. Looking up some of the stats here. That's why it took me a minute to get back. I wasn't watching. Uh, Lichtman's only pitched about five innings. And uh, he has a nine walks and seven strikeouts in that nine innings. Here's the pitch. Low for a ball. I don't make a one ball, one strike. We've got one out here on deck is Jack Buss. Maxwell with a 1-1. Bases are loaded. Rabarchek, Boylan, and then Dieterle down at third. They're going to say a strike on that as he thought the second time it broke more than he thought it would. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Ball. Two balls, two strikes. Base hit will score about two here. Here's the pitch. Ball. Three, two. Three balls, two strikes. Lane Lichtman looks in to Hawaiian Lichtman, the battery of the Lichtman boys today. Ball, foul ball. Fight it off. Fight it off. It's going to keep it 3 2 on Meyer Maxwell. Lane looks in. Here's the pitch. Strike three called. That'll be two outs now with bases loaded. Brown County's got to get out of this or get something out of this inning. As you've got bases loaded, you don't want to start the first and strand three people on base. Jack Buss, a Buss, a 250 hitter with six RBIs. Strike one called. Here's the pitch. Popped up, foul out of play. O2, fouled off. That'll keep it O2. Lichtman like he could feel pretty lucky if he'd get out of this and get bus out and leave bases stranded for Brown County in the first. The pitch. Curve ball. He takes it into left field, but the left field Embry looks like he's under that. Makes the catch. Brown County doesn't get a hit. Had three walks, no runs, no hits, no errors, and three left on base. That'll that may come back to haunt him later. With that, we'll head to the top of the second. It's 0-0. We'll be back. And volleyball week. On-site child care is available while you work out for children as young as six weeks. We hope you'll join us at the Mount Sterling YMCA. Your future self and family will thank you.
A rustic garden ships home and garden accents coast to coast, right from its location in Mount Sterling. The folks there customize each sale by painting unique and vintage colors to match the look of the home or flower garden. They also do wrought iron fencing. How long does that last? 100 years? 200 years? Who knows how long wrought iron fencing will last? Shop www.arusticgarden.com and get it shipped directly to your front door. Have you ever thought about opening the door to a new truck driving career? If so, BNN Trucking is looking for you. At BNN Trucking, we offer competitive pay, healthcare, 401k, paid vacation, and holiday pay. BNN Trucking is currently looking for over the road, regional, and home every night delivery specialists. BNN Trucking runs the latest in modern equipment. For full details, please visit bnntrucking.net or call 217-289-3555. Hi, I'm Heather Henry, owner and instructor at Heather's Tumble and Tap in Mount Sterling, where we have been teaching dance to the children of Brown County and the surrounding areas since 1995. We offer classes in tap, jazz, palm, tumbling, and offer an all-boys tumbling class for all those future Hornet athletes. At Heather's Tumble and Tap, we focus on fun, friends, and the fundamentals of dance in a non-competitive atmosphere. Follow us on Facebook to stay up to date on upcoming classes and events. Go Hornets! First pitch, base hit by Colby Tate. Takes the first pitch, drives it into left field, and they've got a base runner with no outs. England in this in top three. This inning would be Tate, Myers, and Embry. That'll bring up Michael Myers. Most of these guys you're going to remember from the basketball court. Here's the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Henry's got it second, bobbles it, and he's got to make the throw first. That's wild, and that's going to allow Myers to go over to, or a Tate to go over to third base. And so we're going to give that an E6. And an E6 on the throw over to first. So that's going to be two errors on one play. Remember, I talked in the pregame, keys to the game. Walks and errors. Grigsville got out of their jam with their walks. They got away with them. Let's we'll see if Brown County can get away with those two errors on that play. Bus wants to go out and talk to his pitcher a second. Probably calming down just a little bit. Next pitch, they fake. Got the runner in a rundown. They'll see what they do with the runner at third. They give up. Don't tag the runner. Now they got the runner and run down and home. Scoring position. Tagged him out. Turned out to be a smart play there. I think we almost could have had a double play. But we got one of them. So that runner at third is out. And that's going to be, let's see, one, six. Three, two. <laughs> For you keeping scorebook at home. And so runner did end up at second base on that. First pitch to Embry is a ball. And Doug L is going to come in and talk to the pitcher. I think he sees something that could be classified as a balk. Well, he did call a balk, and the runner is going to go to third base. So that put Michael Myers over to third base in scoring position with one out. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Fouled off. That'll make it a 1-1 one, one count. Here's the stretch by Flynn in the pitch. Popped up. 
That'll be the left field. Cassing under that ball makes the catch. The runner tags from third. And that'll be a sacrifice and an RBI by Embry. Two outs now. Can see him an RBI. And scores Michael Myers from third base. So Brown County doesn't get away with their errors. That'll bring up the seventh place hitter, Braden Lister. He's playing center field. He has no batting average so far this year. Strike called, strike one. The wind in the pitch by Flynn. Strike called. Swing and a miss. 0 2. They'd like to get out of this inning with just that one run. Ball outside. Again, like I said, yesterday that was a strike. Today it is not with this umpire. Every umpire with it has a different strike zone. Some people don't like that. Personally, I think it puts humanity into the ballgame. 2-2 on the count. A lot of people want to go to the electronic umpire. I'm not for it. I think you'll see a lot more walks, personally. Batter steps in. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Griggsville gets one run on one hit, two errors, and... No one left on base as we head to the uh, bottom half of the second. It's Griggsville Perry 1 and Brown County nothing. We'll be back. The Brown County Animal Rescue is a foster-based rescue in Mount Sterling, Illinois. We have multiple families in the community who step forward and take care of our animals for us until we can find the permanent home that's perfect for them. We have multiple community programs, including a trap neuter release program, low cost spay and neuter transport, foster and adoption programs, as well as our blessing box. Brown County Animal Rescue is here to support our community and improve animal welfare. Learn more at bcanimalrescue.com. Looking for a place to gather? Meet me at the library. Need free access to computers and Wi-Fi? Meet me at the library. What about a resource for schools and students? Meet me at the library. How about a space designed just for kids? Meet, Meet me at, at the library. Where can all of Brown County go for books, history, entertainment, and community? Well, meet me at the library. Meet me at the library. Meet me at the library. Back with you as we head to the bottom of the second. It is Griggsville Perry 1. And Brown County nothing, and that one run was an unearned run. As we had two errors in that inning. They had one hit. That batter got out. So with that, we start the second, and Lane Lichtman still on the mound for Griggsville Perry. First three brought to you by Yingling Innocent Agency, 111 West Washington in Mount Sterling. Give them a call, 217-773-3397. We'll be Dylan Rice, Jack Sefton. And Wyatt Cassing. Rice comes in with a 333 batting average. Stands in from the right side. There's the pitch. Strike called on the outside. To correlate, I said yesterday the low strike was a strike. The outside yesterday was not a strike. It is today. Drive into right center field. That's going to get out past the... Center fielder bare hands the ball and gets it back in, and Rice with a base hit. That's how he started yesterday. Chili Dog sends a rope out there. That'll bring up Jack Sefton. Batting from the right-hand side. Lichtman looks in, checks the runner. And here's the pitch. Ball. Here's the stretch. And the pitch. Ground ball. Pass the first between first and second. That's going to be a base hit. Move Rice down to second base. 
Two base hits in a row. Sefton gets one the opposite direction. That'll bring up Wyan Cassing. Cassing comes in with a 188 batting average with four RBIs on the year so far. Steps in from the left-hand side. Nobody out. Runners at first and second. They're going to play him around. The left fielder's way off the line. Strike called on the first pitch. Fakes the bunt, pulls it back, or it puts his bat out there for the bunt, pulls it back. I won't say fakes it, but pulls it back. That'll make it two balls. Well, that should be a one-on-one. -on -one. Next pitch, shows bunt, misses, offered at it, throw down to second base, and they almost got Chili Dog. And he's going to head to third as the ball gets passed, and he's into third, sliding safely. There's Sefton behind him. We're going to have an error on the sh error on the shortstop, so they get into the air column. Tell you what, the ball's got to get out there a little ways for the chili dog to get a base like that. He's down at third, Sefton at second, first pitch. Her next pitch to casting is a ball. Two balls, two strikes is what the scoreboard's showing. The pitch from Lichtman. Outside, going to run it 3-2. On deck is Dieterle, top of the order. The pitch. Fouled off to the left side, out of play. Keeps the count, 2-2. Two -two. Or 3-2, excuse me. Three balls, two strikes, nobody out. Runners at second and third. Sefton with a big lead. He hits a base hit. Swing and a miss. Strike out. This is going to bring up Dieterle. He walked his first time up, stole the base, was stranded at third in that whole transaction. Brown County stranded three. On base in the first. Dieterle steps in from the right side. 381 hitter with eight RBIs. He'd like to make it a 10 for the year. Ball. Here's the wind. The pitch. Strike called. The wind and the 1-1 one, one pitch. Ball in the dirt. Need a base hit here. Lane licked him in, winds and pitches. Ball high. 3-1. The wind, here's the pitch. Ball four. Two walks for Dieterle in that leadoff spot. That'll load the bases up for Maverick Henry, who leads the team in RBIs. Nine on the year, one home run. 353 average. We'd take a base hit. We'd take a dinger here. We'd take anything that moves and runs and gets us on the board. Got one out here. Here's the wind and the pitch. Drive into right center field. That's going to get down and is going to score at least two runs. Here comes Sefton for the second run after Rice crosses the place, and that's going to be two RBIs for Maverick Henry. Dieterly down to second base and 
Rice scores and Sefton scores. Brown County now up two to one. They were down one to nothing. Boylan up to bat, six RBIs on the year, 207 batting average with runners at first and second. Dieterle's gonna just run and he's out, got caught stealing. That'll be the second out. Runner still at first and Maverick Henry. No pitches yet to Boylan. The runner goes, ground ball over the Pitcher, shortstop's got to get it. He's got to throw on the run. And it's there. Nice scoop by the first baseman. 6-3 on the out. Brown County comes up with two runs on two hits, one error, and one man left on base. As we head to the top of the third, it's Brown County 2 and Grigsville Perry 1. The Joel Oliver Memorial Pool needs an update because if we don't, in five or 10 years, it won't be here. I got involved with the pool when I was eight years old and I went door to door asking for donations to help build the pool. Now I get to bring my daughter here. It's just awesome to be able to have that. 30 plus years ago, the community came together to build what we have today. And we would really like to keep that going for another 30 years for the next generation to enjoy. Mount Sterling Foods offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market, offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page, or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, the Ying Lung Unison top three for this inning for Griggsville Perry be Rory Phillips, Mason Bolton, and then back to the top of the order with uh, Brody Rush. Left handed hitting Phillips steps in. Flynn with his third inning of work. Outside for a ball. Fun looks in, here's the wind in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike, makes it a 1-1 count. Wind and here's the pitch. Curve ball, high and swing and a miss. He likes that pitch, yep. Phillips comes in with no batting average. Here's the pitch, ball high. 2-2. Good follow through that time for Flynn. Fouled off. The other couple of pitches that were high, he was falling off towards first base. Here's Flynn with the wind. Ball low, makes it a full count. 3-2 count. Flynn up to 31 pitches in this ball game. Outside, ball four, lost him. Bear down, Connor. Double play, let's go. That's Flynn's first walk of this contest. He's got two strikeouts. Well, that'll bring up the ninth place hitter, the DH, Mason Bolton. Ball high.
Here's the pitch. Curveball. Strike on the outside corner. One ball, one strike. Nobody out. Brown County up two to one here in the top of the third. No lead at first. Why I call yardstick lead. Swung at the next pitch, makes it one and two. Here's the pitch. Popped up foul, out of play. Keeps the count one and two. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Outside, makes it a 2-2 count. Fouled off. Two two count. Runner on first. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Ground ball back up the middle, but Henry's going to wait on it. Tag the bag. Throw over to first. Double play. A 6 3 double play. That gets the people off the base. Now we're back up to Brody Rush, a 250 hitter for these Griggsville Tornadoes. Nobody out, nobody on, or two outs, nobody on base. Curveball for a strike. The wind and the 0 1 pitch. Strike two. Curveball in the same spot. Here's the wind and the 0-2 pitch, ball low. Rush struck out his first time up. Pitch, ball hit foul. That'll keep the count one and two. Laying on, wind, here's the one-two pitch. Curveball, strikeout, number three. Three strikeouts on the day, no runs. No hits, no errors, and nobody left on base as we head to the bottom half of the third. Brown County leads two to one. We'll be back. Service Master Restore provides something very important to insurance carriers, and it's something no other disaster restoration company can match. It's genuine partnership. Service Master Restore should be your preferred provider for several important reasons. Policyholders report higher satisfaction when the insurer recommends a restoration company. Service Master Restore has the highest customer satisfaction rating among all major restoration companies. High customer satisfaction is proven to result in greater customer retention. We care. We serve. We deliver. We do the right thing. Land Guy's Toby Stay's relentless pursuit is to use his local expertise to help connect those with a shared passion for land. If you're in the market to sell, give him a call at 217-257-6096. Additionally, if you're in the market to buy, you can find his current listings by scanning the QR code on the screen or following him on Facebook at Toby Stay Land Broker or on Instagram at Toby Stay. He looks forward to connecting with you and providing a smooth process to your transaction. Larry Denning County has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Denning County, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400.
Up for Brown County, your Yingling in this in top three will be Vlad Rabarchek, Meyer Maxwell, and Jack Buss. Rabarchek got a base on balls his last time up. Comes in with a 292 average and five RBIs on the year. And the blind from Lichtman as Lane Lichtman works his third inning of work here. First pitch strike. Here's the wind in the old one pitch. Ball, 1-1. One, one. Brown County scored two in the second. On a Maverick Henry base hit. Ball, outside. Two balls, one strike. Here's the wind, the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike. Two, two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. There's nobody out, excuse me. The wind in the... Almost went for it. Three, two count. Three two pitch coming from Lichtman. Ball four. Well, Meyer, you turn. Meyer Maxwell up. He got caught looking his first time up on a three two pitch. Comes in with a one twenty nine average, three RBA eyes on the year, playing right field today with Flynn on the mound. Rabarchek with about a four foot lead at first. Pitch, ball inside. Stretch, and the pitch. Ball low. Two balls, no strikes. Stretch, the pitch. Oh, strike called. Pitch before that was a better pitch. I thought the first one before was a strike. That one was a little low. Two balls, one strike. Or one ball, two strikes, excuse me, to Maxwell. Inside makes it 2-2. Two -two. Three, one, excuse me. Three one pitch to Maxwell. Low for a ball. Base on balls. That's two in a row. That'll move for Barchek down to second base. Timeout called by the coach. With that, he's gonna go to the mound. We're going to a commercial. We'll be right back. I have been interested in truck driving my whole life. I've been fascinated with the big rig since I was a kid. But after college, I got into business on the marketing side of things, kind of shelved the dream. 30 years later, I quit my job, signed up for truck driving school. It was exciting from the get-go. Dot recruited out of my truck driving school. The job was everything I was hoping it would be, and then some. My weeks absolutely fly by. When my life needed fulfillment, I took the wheel. Culbertson Memorial Hospital is more than just an emergency center for acute illnesses and trauma. From imaging and lab services to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, our team of providers is equipped to treat a wide variety of conditions in a convenient, local setting, so getting the outpatient care you need doesn't require a long trip out of town. Get quality care from the team that knows you best at Culbertson Memorial Hospital. Learn more at hospital.com. 
Los Rancheros Restaurant in Mount Sterling is your destination for authentic Mexican food. Open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Come and enjoy their daily specials on food and drink. Having a party? Check out Los Rancheros for catering your next event or gathering. Los Rancheros Authentic Mexican Restaurant, 408 Quincy Road, Mount Sterling. Call 217-773-7800. Hello, Earl Flack for your locally owned Cane Nap Auto Parts store. You know the old saying, April showers bring May flowers? How about April showers bring McKay Napa savings? We got peak windshield wash. You know those bugs are going to be all over the windshield. $4.49. Do you want the blue? We got it for $3.99. How about Napa full synthetic motor oil? Save up to 60%, $20.99 for a five quart jug or $4.49 a quart. And save up to 24% on select small engine line oil filters. Get the good stuff at Napa Know How and thank you for your business. Timewell Drainage Products is a locally owned family company that has provided incredible employment opportunities in our area for over 40 years. Our constantly growing company is always looking for dynamic individuals who want to be part of an innovative, fast-paced team. To join our team, visit us online at timewellpipe.com. Timewell Drainage Products, a proud community employer since 1982. Back with you with a pitching change. Tate goes to the mound. It looks like Lane Lichtman goes to third base. In the third baseman, um, Rush goes to first. First pitch is a ball to Jack Buss. Jack Buss is so far in this game popped up to center field his last time up on an 0-2 pitch. Ball outside. Here's the stretch on the 0-2 pitch, or the 2-0 pitch. Ball, oh, three balls. Rushes at first, Kerfman at second, Myers at third, and Lane Lichtman, or at short, Lane Lichtman at third. We've got a left-handed third baseman. Ball four as Bus takes the walk. Three walks in a row by Grigsville Perry. That's the first one. By Tate. That'll bring up Dylan Rice. He had a base hit and scored his first time up. The wind, the pitch, ball low. Bottom of the third inning, Brown County up two to one. Bases are a loaded. Swing and a miss, strike one. I don't make a 1 1. Here's the pitch. Outside. Rice could open things up here with a good base hit. The wind, the pitch. Strike call. 2 2. Wind, here's the pitch. Ground ball, foul. Keep it 2-2. Nobody out here in this bottom of the third. With Brown County leading 2-1. Beautiful day for baseball. Getting a, a, just a little chilly with the breeze. But we'll take it. Here's the pitch. Ground ball, the third baseman, Lane Lichtman, steps on third. And no throw. Oh, gets Chili Dog down at first. Double play, but we score the run. I'm going to give him an RBI on that. He was out 6-3. And out at third was Maxwell. It's Brown County with one more run, makes it a three to one ball game. 
comes the pitch. Strike one. Sefton. I believe that's Fullerton down running it at second base. For bus. Here's the pitch from Tate, low. Two balls, no strikes. Two and one, excuse me. I was right. Stretch in the pitch by Tate. Fouled off. We'll come back and do it again, two, two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner down at second base, deuces are wild. Sefton gets set back in. Tate is set on the rubber. Shortstop trying to hold Fullerton at second. Ball low. We're going to run into a full count on Jack Sefton. 261 hitter, four RBIs on the year. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Fullerton hops out. Of it. Fielder misses the ball. Hops passing. Sefton's going to get a base hit. An RBI. And he's going to go to second on an error by the left fielder. Makes it a four to one contest. Brown County up four to one. Brings up Wayne Cassing, the number nine batter. He struck out his last time up. Drives the ball. Left center field. That's where they were playing him. Left fielder makes the catch, but a nice swing there in the bat. And Brown County gets two runs on one hit, one error. And one left on base as we head to the top of the fourth. It's Brown County four, Griggsville Perry one. We'll be back. The Brown County State Bank is proud to support all the Brown County Hornets athletic programs. In fact, we're the only bank offering the Hornet debit card. Every time the card is used at a point of sale, a portion of the proceeds are contributed to the Brown County School. It's our part of our commitment to making them the best they can be. Contact the Brown County State Bank today to get your Hornet debit card at 773-3327. Brown County State Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Local, reliable broadband. You must be talking about CASCOM. I'm Casey French, and we provide amazing support for home and businesses. Internet, television, and phone. We have technicians in your area at all times, and you can actually talk to a local customer service representative. We know our area, and we know our customers. Get to know us. Call CASCOM today at 1-800-252-1799. CASCOM at 1-800-252-1799. Brown County Accounting and Tax recently opened in Mount Sterling. The team brings over 30 years of experience and is ready to advise on taxes, bookkeeping, and payroll. We are ready to meet with you with no obligation to discuss your tax saving strategy and have already helped many in the area. Contact us today at 217-770-8082. We are excited to be part of the community and are looking forward to helping you. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports. Top three will be Lane Lichtman, White Lichtman, and Colby Tate here in the top of the fourth. First pitch is a ball. Brown County up four to one here as we head to the fourth inning. Next pitch, high for a ball. Ball two. The wind, here's the pitch. Ball, high. Three balls, no strikes. Flynn up to about 47 pitches. Next pitch. Ball four. Four straight balls. 
Puts Lane Lichtman down at first base, bring up the catcher, Wyatt Lichtman. Stretch by Flynn. Ball high. Five straight balls. Lane with about a five foot lead over at first. See if he makes it any bigger. Nope, that's four to five. That's where he's going to stay. Here's the pitch. Ground ball down the third baseline, just foul. One, one. Here's the stretch by Flynn, the pitch, curveball. Ooh. Two balls, one strike. Must have been high, went across the plate. I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. Looked like a good pitch. Flynn stretches on the 2-1 pitch. High for a ball, 3-1. Stretch, throw to first, back in time. The infield today of Robarczyk at third, Henry at sec or short, Boylan at second, and Dieterle at first. Flynn on the mound, Jack Buss behind the plate, next pitch, a strike. That'll move it to 3-2 on Wyatt Lichtman. Nobody out. Runner at first base. Swing and a miss. Nice Strikeout number four. That'll bring up Colby Tate so far. Colby Tate, uh, he's got the lone base hit for Grigsville Perry. He only had a 111 batting average coming in. And then he ended up after that base hit uh, getting thrown out on a rundown after he got the third base. One out, runner at first base. Flynn checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Popped up. Right side. Dieterle says he's got it. In fair territory and out. Second out, Michael Myers. He got on with an error and uh, scored. Steps in from the right side. Two outs now. Runner at first base. Here's the pitch. Curve ball. Ball outside. Stretch by Flynn. Here's the 1-0 pitch. High for a ball. Ball two. He got ahead of the batters early in this game. He struggled here in this last half inning here of staying ahead of the batters. Being in control of the batting situation. About a six foot lead for Lane Lichtman. Flynn steps off. A stretch. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike. Two balls, one strike to Myers. The stretch and the pitch popped up. Foul out of play. Two two count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Deuces are wild. Flynn like to get out of this. Runner goes. Curve ball swing. Third strike. Fifth strike out of the ball game. Fork. Connor Flynn, no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base as we head to the bottom half of the fourth. It's Brown County 4 and Grigsville Perry 1. We'll be back. 
LM Concrete Construction takes pride in providing quality concrete work to Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas, specializing in flat work, sidewalks, residential, new buildings, or add-ons, commercial and decorative concrete. Call Lorenzo Martinez for all your concrete needs at 779-279-4413. That's 779-279-4413. One, three. Hi, this is Brad Cassing here in Mount Sterling at Ray Insurance Agency. Uh, I want to thank you for supporting Brown County Athletics. I'd also like to mention that uh, you probably know that we are specialists in crop insurance, uh, hail insurance, and also any farm coverages that you might need. But what you probably don't know is we have very competitive rates on homes, autos, and commercial business. So. I uh, thank you for supporting Brown County Sports and uh, look forward to hearing from you. My number is 217-773-3851. When it comes to your money, local is better. Farmers National Bank of Griggsville is here in the heart of the community. Working where we live, we make sensible loans to our friends and neighbors so that we can help our community grow. Stop by and see our friendly staff and see what we can do to meet your financial goals. Located in Griggsville, Pittsfield, and Mount Sterling. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back with you as we go to the bottom half of the fourth inning. Brown County leads four to one. First three brought to you by Yingling Innocent Agency will be Dieterle, Maverick Henry, and Boylan for Brown County. Dieterle so far today, uh, two base on balls. Um, got stranded at third as a stolen base. He got caught stealing uh, in the last inning. 381 hitter when he came in, eight RBIs. He's still sitting there with no official at bat. First pitch, a strike to him from the pitcher Tate. Colby Tate on the mound. Wyatt Lipkeman as his battery mate swinging a foul, strike two. O2. Here's the pitch from Tate. Ball low. 1 2. The wind. The pitch. Ground ball off of his he, inside of his foot. That's got to hurt. Would have hurt worse last week in the 40 degree weather, 30 degree weather. One and two. Dieterly steps back in. To wind the pitch. Hits him. Hit by pitch, so he still has no official at bat for the day. His on-base percentage has got to be pretty high. Got to bring up Maverick Henry with Matt Boylan on deck. Henry so far today grounded to the shortstop and a fielder's choice. Got a base hit and two RBIs in the second. Throw over to first, Dieterly back. They're going to have to worry about him, Dieterly as he likes to steal. He got a right-handed pitcher. He won't get fooled as, as bad as he did with Lichtman on the mound, the left-hander. That's the pitch. There goes Dieter Lee. Throw down by Wyatt. And in there safe with a stolen base is Dieter Lee, his second of the ball game. Close throw. Nice throw by Wyatt Lichtman down there. Pitch to Henry was a strike. Here comes the 0-1 pitch from Tate. They'll try to pinch in in the middle. Fouled that one off. 0-2. Oh, the stretch by Tate. Checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Low. Stretch. 
the pitch. Low, 2-2. Two -two. Dieter Lee's going to take third on the wild pitch. That'll make it a 2-2 count. Dieter Lee just a 90 feet away. Here's the pitch. Ball low. Nice stop by Wyatt Lichterman. Makes it a full count. The pitch. Outside, ball four. Base on balls. First and third brings up Matt Boyle on 207 hitter. Six RBIs on the year so far today. Base on balls and grounded to the shortstop. And there goes the Griggsville Perry coach to the mound. With that, we'll take a station break. Brown County leads 4-1. Mitsubishi Ductless Systems give you individual room control and allergen filtration with no ductwork so you can be as comfortable as you want anywhere in your home. The Comfort Man at Scranton Heating and Cooling can help you design a Mitsubishi system for your new addition, remodeling project, or man cave or she shed. Call Scranton Heating and Cooling today to come and evaluate the best option available to you. The Comfort Man, 217-773-2626 or on the web at comfortman.com. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, so you know what that is. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. Yingling and Nissan Insurance. Stop in and talk to one of our agents today about your insurance needs. We really appreciate the support of the community in our business for the last 40 some years. Come and see us if you have questions on, on your policy with us or if you want to quote and you're with someone else now, we'd be happy to work with you. If Yingling and Nissan Agency a call at 217-773-3397. Go earn it! Banks are involved in every aspect of our daily lives. They support us as we turn life's goals into accomplishments. Goals like purchasing that new car, opening a small business, buying or building a home, planning a wedding, or preparing for retirement. Bank with a partner you can trust and count on. Farmer State Bank and Trust Company of Mount Sterling. Locally owned, locally operated, locally dedicated. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. First pitch, runner goes down to second base, gets past the pitcher. First pitch was a strike. Second and third, nobody out. Boiling up to bat. Next pitch, a strike. Tate is getting ahead on the batters. He just can't put them away. Here's the pitch. Pop fly. Left center. That's over the head of the center fielder. He's going to go to the fence. That's going to be a 2 -B RBI. It's going to be a triple as Boylan hadn't slowed down a bit since he left the plate. Triple for Matty Boylan. And two RBIs. That'll bring up Rabarczyk with the runner on third. He's got a chance to get an RBI. Boylan had uh, six RBIs coming in. That gives him eight now on the day. Henry added to his. He's got 11 on the day, or 11 for the season. First pitch to Rabarczyk. I didn't see what it was. I think it was a ball. Ground ball, third. Oh, that was close. Yeah, 
He got around on that one quick. He's got two strikes on him. The first pitch was a strike. 0-2 pitch. Tate checks the runner. Boyle in at third to pitch. Ground ball foul. Here's the 0-2 again. High for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Pitch. Ground ball to the third baseman. Lane Lichtman scoops it up, throws. That's going to be... I'm going to see how Doug Henry scores that, but he's going to get an RBI on that. That'll make it 7-1. to one. Pitch. Maxwell dribbles one down. Licked him in with the throw over. It's high over the head. Maxwell's going to head down to second base. Call that a fielder's choice on, and then uh, it's going to be an error on Maxwell's. An E6 gets in down the second base. Rabarchek was out. 6-3. Jack Buss hits the ball. Center fielder Lister makes that catch and gets the ball back in quickly. That'll be the second out of the inning. That'll bring up uh, Dylan Rice. Dylan Rice got a base hit. Then he got an RBI and got thrown out at first base on that. So he's put the bat on the ball each and every time here. Pitch. First pitch to him was a ball. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike on the curveball. Stretch it. Pitch is in the dirt. Low. Maxwell has to re retreat. 2-1. Stretch, and the pitch. Strike called, 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner at second base. Here's the stretch. Ball makes it a full count. Broadcasting schedule, we're still waiting to hear from Mastoria to see whether we've got cell coverage down there or what we've got, if we're going to do tomorrow or if it's going to rain, what that is. There's, I'm going to say, a 50-50 chance of us doing that ball game. We'll be back here on Thursday, provided we don't get rained out. There's rain in the forecast for Thursday. It'll be uh, North Green here, girls and boys. Lisa and I have it. And then Friday, we've got uh, Havana home. And uh, Chili Dog gets a base on balls. Runners at first and second. That'll bring up Jack Sefton, 333 hitter. So far today, he's got a base hit, a ground out, and a base on balls. Nope, excuse me. Base hit. No, two base hits for him and an RBI. Swing and a miss. He went up there swinging. Two for two on the day for Bus with an RBI. Got an inning score to run. Here's the stretch in the pitch. Swing and a miss. 0-2. 7 1 the score here, the bottom of the fourth inning. Here's the stretch in the pitch. Foul ball.
stretch by Tate. Here's the pitch. It's going to be popped up right side. First baseman is over to get that, and Rush makes that catch. So Brown County gets three runs in that inning on one just one hit <laughs> one error and two left on base as we head to the top of the fifth it's Brown County 7 and Griggsville Perry 1 will be back As a student at St. Mary's School, your child will receive strong educational foundation embedded with Christian values. All students, kindergarten through eighth grade, have individual iPads, along with personalized attention with a small class size. St. Mary's also offers Fulham half-day pre-K, affordable tuition, a family atmosphere, and exceptional teachers. Register your child today by calling Melissa at St. Mary's School at 217-773-2825. When I started at Dodd, I realized I could make a career out of this. It's just amazing the people you get to interact with when you get here. It's a family atmosphere for me. One of my main jobs is talking to people, trying to understand what's going on, uh, where they're at in life, what, what they're needing from me to get their job done. I've met so many people, and uh, it's been a real blessing to be a part of all that. Big company in a small town, that's a fact. When my life needed growth, I chose Dodd, and I never left. Back with him, BC Hornet Sports. As we head to the top half of the fifth inning, it's 7-1 to one Brown County over Griggsville Perry in this boys' baseball contest. Again, this week, 50-50 chance of us doing the game tomorrow, uh, depending on what we hear on weather and on Internet access at uh, Astoria. And then on Thursday, we're supposed to have North Green, both girls and boys games going on here. We're planning to broadcast that, but there's rain in the forecast. And then Friday, the boys will have a baseball game against Havana. First pitch to Flynn, from Flynn to Embry. It'll be Embry, Lister, and Phillips this inning. First pitch ball, next pitch coming. Swing and a miss. Makes it 1-1. One, one. So far, about 64 pitches by Flynn. Outside for a ball. Two balls, one strike. Next pitch. Batter sticks his bat out. Dieter Lee's going to grab it, run to the bag. Three unassisted there on that. That'll be the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Braden Lister, who he struck out in this ballgame as his only at bat. Brown County just about has batted around three times. And Greg Zill Perry has not finished two yet. Pop up. Flynn on the mound. Got it. Helped his own cause out there. That'll bring up Rory Phillips. His only at bat today. Has been a base on balls. And then he got caught after he got on base in a double play. When uh, Bolton grounded straight to Henry standing on second base. Fouled off. Ball or a strike one. Flynn into his fifth inning of work. Here's the wind and the pitch. Strike called. I'd be going after this batter. Ball. Not wasting any pitches and get out of this inning. Put that curveball that you've been throwing for a strike right in there. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Six strikeouts for Flynn in this game. He only has, I think, two walks maybe. With that, we'll head to the bottom half of the fifth. Brown County leads 7-1. We'll be back.
Just like a coach preparing their team for the new season, Doug and Darren Henry, your ASE certified technicians at Henry Automotive, want to make sure your vehicle is ready for whatever season is ahead. Henry Automotive provides dealership quality auto repair and service at hometown prices. Henry Automotive is located 1157 690th East Street in Mount Sterling. Just turn north at the KC Hall onto Damon Road, drive 1.8 miles and look for the big blue and yellow sign or call Henry Automotive at 773 90 66. Maintaining your lawn can be a never-ending battle, but Bemis Lawn Service with their state-of-the-art equipment and skilled team of lawn experts are ready to take on any job you need completed for your lawn, such as lawn maintenance, fertilization, turf weed control, grub control, driveway weed control, overseeding, and shrub trimming. Call Aaron at 217-653-0198 or Scott at 217-653-0197. Bemis Lawn Service, they've got an eye for all things green. Go Hornets! Main Street Repair and Terry Ham have the reputation of being the best at front-end alignments in the area. With 20 years of experience, Terry is the person that customers and auto repair professionals refer their friends and customers to. But alignments are not the only thing that they do at the Main Street Repair. They repair steering and suspension issues, install leveling and lift kits, repair and replace brakes and tires, do oil changes, as well as minor engine and miscellaneous repairs. Main Street Repair at 216 West Main Street in Mount Sterling. Call for your appointment today at 217-773-3848. Once again, that's 217-773-3848. 3848. Back with you on BC Hornet Sports, your source for Brown County Sports and more. Yingling in this in top three for this inning is going to be the ninth place hitter, Cassing. Then back up to the top to Dieter Lee and Maverick Henry. Mr. Steinway having a conversation with Wyatt Cassing. All right, in for about his third inning of work will be Tate. The wind and the pitch. Ball outside. Casting so far today, struck out, popped up to the left fielder. Ball outside. High. Here's the wind from Tate in the pitch. Ball high, ball three. Here's the wind and the pitch. Ball four. And casting in that number nine spot is like the second leadoff guy. He's supposed to set the plate for the top of the order coming back up, and he's done that by getting on base on a base on balls. Let's see if Brown County can get a big run inning this inning and put an end to this contest. They're up 7-1. to one. Need about four runs to do that. Drive by Dieter Lee into left field. Drops. There goes Cassing. He's going to try to make it to third base. Gets in there. Safe. Got the wheels turned on. Base hit. For Dieterly. That'll bring up Maverick Henry. Maverick Henry's had a good day today. A base hit with two RBIs. Got stranded. And a base on balls in scored. Got a duck on the pond. Stretch by Tate. There goes Dieterly. No throw. Ball on that first pitch. Stretch. And here's the pitch. Ball high. Here's the stretch by Tate and the pitch. Foul way out in front of that one. Yeah. 
Two balls, one strike, nobody out. Or one ball, two strikes is what the scoreboard's got. Yeah, that's, yeah. Fouls that one back, keeps it one and two. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Fouls that one off. Phillips actually on the mound. I missed that change. That probably happened in the last inning. I think that was a ball. It should be 2-2. Two -two. It is. Here's Phillips with the pitch in the dirt. 3-2. Three two to Henry. Here's the stretch. And the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Myers will get that. Throw over to first to rush for the out and an RBI. Fielder's choice and another RBI for Henry. Moves him up to 12 on the year. As Kassing scores, makes his 8-1 ball game. Fouled off by Boylan. Dieterle moved over to third on that play. One out. Brown County up 8-1. Stretch, the pitch, ball, one ball, one strike. Ball, two, one. Here's the pitch. Ball low. 3-1. Phillips with the stretch. Here's the pitch. Lined ball hit into the left center field. That's going to go to the fence, folks. That's going to score one boiling around second. And he's going to stop at second. Give him a double. And an RBI. That'll score Dieterle from third easily. Makes it a 9-1 ball game and a timeout called. With that, we'll take a station break. We'll be back. This is Tracy Hendricker with the Hendricker Funeral Home in Mount Sterling. For the past 50 years, our family has committed to providing the finest facilities and compassionate services to our community. We pledge to continue to assist the families we serve as though they were our own. We also want to wish the best of luck to all those competing on the playing field or striving for excellence in the classroom. You all make Hornet Nation so very proud. And remember, go Hornets! Hey, this is Lance Grady with L. Grady Realty, Brown County's premier residential and commercial real estate brokerage. If you're in the market to buy, sell, or rent, we would love to work with you. You can check us out on the internet at www.lgradyrealty.com, find us on Facebook, or call or text me personally anytime at 217-491-0812. L. Grady Realty, local brokers, local office, local expertise. We are Brown County's leading residential real estate brokerage. 
Mount Sterling Foods offers our community the selection, variety, and pricing found in a larger market, offering convenience and customer service second to none. Check out the daily lunch specials each day on their Facebook page, or stop by and get some of their delicious fried chicken for Sunday lunch or any meal. Weekly grocery specials can be found in the Democrat message. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling, proud sponsor of Brown County Students and Athletics. Larry Denon County has been serving Brown County and the surrounding area for over 40 years. Lance Pabin and his staff work with businesses, individuals, and farmers, offering tax preparation, bookkeeping, payroll, sales tax, and business consultations. Larry Down and Counting, 443 East Main Street, Mount Sterling, Illinois. Put their experience to work for you today. Call 217-773-3400. New pitcher for Griggsville Perry will be Embry. Brian Embry, he was out in left field. And it looks like probably put our first baseman back to his original position. I think Tate went back to first. And then out in left field will be, oh, uh, let's see, the left-hander Brush. Rush went to left. First pitch from Embry, low and in the dirt to Rabarchek. Let's see what Rabarchek's done as Embry will stretch, and here's the pitch. Ball high. Barcheck, base on balls his first time up, base on balls his second time up, and a fielder's choice and an RBI his third time up. And the pitch. Ball outside. Ball four. Third base on balls. He's one for one on, or no, 0 for one on the day. Runners now at first and second. That'll bring up Meyer Maxwell. Meyer got caught looking his first time up, then got a base on balls and got forced out and then got on with an error by the shortstop. Ball goes to the screen. Wild pitch and everybody moves up. Brown County needs two runs to end this ball game. I believe it's 10 after 5. Maxwell could end this game here, right here. Here's the pitch. Ball high. Ball two. Jack Buss on deck. We got one out. Maxwell hits one the other way. Let's see if they're going to send Rabarchek or not. No, stop sign goes up. Base hit in an RBI for Maxwell. Rabarchek over to third. Brings up Jack Buss. He's popped up to the center fielder. Got a base on balls. Popped up to center again. Put the bat on the ball twice. Walked once. Just need to get it into a place. Be watching for a wild pitch here. Runner goes down to second. No throw. Second, third. Jack Buss would like to get in on some of this RBI action. The pitch. Post game will be brought to you by your Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling. Give them a call. Check out those daily deli specials out there. They had uh, enchiladas today. Tomorrow is Asian Day out there, so you can get uh, a lot of different things. Swing and a miss makes it a 1-1 count on bus. But I'd uh, check out. Tomorrow will be my favorite day out there with Asian Day. 
It's 200 Pittsfield Road. Give them a call, 217-773-2213. And an error by the second baseman. And that'll be it. Post game brought to you by Mount Sterling Foods, 200 Pittsfield Road, 773-2213. Don't forget, tomorrow is Asian Day. With that, the RBI, that makes it a 11-1 ball game. Then the player of the ball game be brought to you by KLC Inc. Screen printing and embroidery, custom team apparel, and promotional product. KLC Inc., 509 Pittsfield Road, Mount Sterling. Your call, 217-773-9090. KLC Inc., you think it, they ink it. And the box score ended up like this, 11 runs for Brown County. On, i got to count the hits in that inning, one two, three, on seven hits, four errors, and basically seven men left on base. On the uh, Griggsville Perry side, one run on one hit, two errors by Brown County, and one man left on base for them. So not a big day for them. They went through at least four pitchers in this contest. Final score here on this uh, Mount Sterling Foods post game, 11-1. Brown County wins so by the 10-run rule in five. With that, we'll be back with you, like I say, 50-50 chance tomorrow. We'll see what happens on Thursday with the rain, Friday uh, with uh, Havana baseball here. So thank you. Player of the ball game in that ball game, I'm going to give it to Connor Flynn. Connor Flynn had a good game uh, pitching today, only allowed one run, five innings of work. So Connor Flynn, the player of the ball game today. Well, thank you. God bless, and have a great evening.